Isn't that a beauty? Well, there's many years ago, and um, I think it was in a toy shop, it's a fairly precise one-tenth scale of the proper size bicycle. But it's got working brakes, cable brakes, and pedals which turn around like that, which is very nice. I think you can adjust the seat. No, the seat's pretty firm, actually. And certainly as the um, things turn, there's also these very fast-moving wing nuts which you can take off very quickly if you need to change the tyre or something. But all one-tenth scale to the real full-size bicycle. So I thought I'd go into my collection looking for other bike toys, but I've kept it fairly loose by saying not only bikes, but trikes, tricycles, and unicycles, I've got some of those as well, and even a couple of scooters, so wheeled vehicles, novelties. This is novel because it's um, looking as, a, as close to a real bike as it can, but it's at one tenth, one tenth scale. So that's fun to consider if you're thinking of making a collection of bikes. This is more normal sort of toys, I call them. This one, for instance, is a charming one of a penny farthing. And this man goes slowly along like that. With a top hat, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Very elegant toy, that. A little bit more winding up. It's actually a trike, I just realised, because he's got, I think he's got two wheels in the back. I think the reason why I had a single wheel, so it really was a big and a small wheel, a penny farthing they call it, isn't it? That was a penny and the tiny one at the back was a farthing. But to make it stable, they've put two little wheels at the back like that. And it's such an elegant thing to do, especially when those feet of his turn and go up and down, up and down, up and down. A bit more dramatic is this one here, which um, turns, it's a stunt bike really. And this bit, it winds up. I've got to keep this under control because otherwise it can run off the table. A few more turns and things. Keep going. Oh, I up. Right, here we go. Yeah, it needs a few more turns, I guess. It's got quite a good motor in this one, actually. Just about. I think it's two more turns. I love the way he turns upside down, don't you? Before he runs off the table. All tin and plastic. Beautiful. Very nicely made. And very dramatic the way he does that blowing action. Beautiful. Very simple. My goodness. This was an extraordinary one. It took me a long time to open this up again. It's um, it's got one one of the bits in the front missing as well. It's a, it's a, it's a motorbike, I suppose, but it actually turns back into, and I'll try and, and make it switch back into it, into something else altogether. Quite extraordinary. When you push the pieces together, those go in like that. That slots in like that. That slots in like that. I think it is. Yes, or something like that. And somehow, if you can get your finger inside. It, op it opens up with a string inside. Let's just see if I can get that string. <laughs> yes, there we are. And it turns into, would you believe, a yo-yo. Oh, oh, just about. It's got a few bits of stuff there in the way, but it's a yo-yo transforming into a motorbike, and that's extraordinary, isn't it? Yes, it needs a bit of attention. Things are coming loose, but that was a motorbike at one moment, and now it's a yo-yo. British toy about 20 years ago. And I've never seen anything like it before or since. So wonderful to see things which are highly original. Now there's some tracks here which I want to show. This one has stopped working from the point of view of wind-ups, but it's such a lovely idea. I thought I'd show it anyway because it does this lovely little noise. And his legs go up and down as he goes along like that. Oh no, his legs not working. Oh, no. But he makes a charming little ringing sound as that thing turns like that. Made in China, I think, but happy days and very charming. Whereas this one, which I've shown not that long ago, does actually work properly, and it's Donald Duck sitting on a trike. We are. And he's sort of whirling, that's right, I was showing bladed toys at one time, and he goes very, very slowly and elegantly, plastic and, and, and uh, die cast metal, very nicely done. 
Well done, Donald. My goodness, you're doing a good job there. <laughs> is that fun? Extraordinary. There's another one here, which is a panda, which has got a funny attachment at the bottom to keep it stable. And let's see what he does. Ooh, he's going to have to go all every way. He's on a little unicycle as well. That's very nice. And those little plastic things he's got on his, on his thing are supposed to be balloons, I think. It's a little set of balloons he's, he's holding up in the air. Maybe a few more turns, because he does a lovely little job, actually. So it's a panda on a little unicycle. He seems to want to keep coming to me, mother. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. His friend here, unfortunately, has pretty well stopped working. It was a little one that was used to go a little action like that, but it's some, I think the motion size died on that one, so we'll let it go. And there's some extraordinary things here which look like um, scooters. Well, they are scooters because they're, or sk skate bikes, I should say. But of course, they're not really skate bikes, they're something else completely different. Would you have ever guessed that this was actually a, a lighter? <laughs> Isn't that extraordinary? I had to get inside to actually refill with gas. So you leave that on the table and wait for someone to ask for a light and then you pick this up and you perform with it. And you, you perform with it. It's got a little thing on the base to hold it. This one sits on the base like that, not quite happily, and does the same thing. It's, um, it's a small lighter. Extraordinary. What would they think of next? Goodness me. It works too. Wonderful stuff. Vehicle vehicles. My favourite one is this one here, which came from Germany about 20, 30 years ago. And it's a little figure on a high wire act. He's on a, on a unicycle, but he's going to do the really daring thing on you. By, um, and he's got these heavy, these are quite heavy weights here, incidentally, to keep him completely upright and stable. And we'll see what happens when I get him coming towards the camera. This is a, yes, a good 30 years ago at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So do your stuff, mate. Show how good you are on the string, on the high wire. Let's head back again a few times. Here he comes. Whoa! He's a bit sinister, isn't he? The way he comes up to you and sways back and forward as if he's about to do something to you. Oops, 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 oops. And back again. Isn't that superb? One of his legs keeps coming off, but never mind. If you don't mind, I don't mind. But that's so well made and so reliable. I've had that for years and years and years and years and years and, years and it's never let me down. 